Uh, okay, so I shall be starting at uh, 1.30 Eastern sharp. Uh, that's me. Uh, it's a face only a mother can love. I assure you I do not look like that today. Uh, after the massive storms of the last six weeks, I'm up to my waist in mud, having uh, been digging out the property after the massive rainstorms. Uh, 23 feet of snow in Lake Tahoe in January, and now the Oroville Dam in the north is starting to break down. That's the largest dam in the United States. So we, the drought is over, I would have to say. Uh, people, sign in. Uh, give me your first name and where you're from so I can say hello. I always like to uh, say hello to new uh, listeners. NVIDIA, of course, you're going to ask about N NVIDIA. That's the stock I recommended in November, which doubled in two months. And I would say uh, I like to buy stocks before they double, not after. Uh, so give NVIDIA a rest. Longer term, it's going to double again. But it has to work off an extremely uh, overbought condition. Uh, Goldman Sachs took profits on my long position yesterday. However, I'm going to be... Uh, uh, buying back on every single dip for the rest of the year. I think the stock has another double in it over the next three years. This stock is still trading at a fraction of its uh, 2000s high, and it is in the perfect storm of tax cuts, deregulation, and so on. So buy Goldman Sachs, nice thing to own. Not such a nice place to work there. I worked at the uh, competitor of Morgan Stanley. We used to trade with them all day long and uh, didn't always come out ahead on every trade, I have to say trading against people like David Tepper. Uh, Japanese Yen will cover later. It looks terrible. Great entry point here, Philip. Uh, let's see. Uh, Eileen from Vancouver, Canada. You probably had more rain than we did. Hello, Anton from Coventry, England. Uh, everyone else, please sign in. Tell me where you're from so I can say hello. And I think I'll get the show started. Wait for your questions to come, and I'll pause from time to time and answer them. Uh, cashing in on the new golden age of trading. Yes, we are in a new golden age of trading. You just don't know it yet, especially given the action since December. But let me tell you that the fundamentals on all asset classes have so dramatically changed that they are giving us the best opportunities in decades. Uh, and better yet, they are easy to see. These are visible, highly visible trades, and I'll get onto them one by one. First of all, why listen to John Thomas? Uh, I have 48 years of experience in the global financial markets, 10 years as the economist correspondent in Tokyo, and later the White House. Yes, I know the West Room very well. 10 years running the International Equity Division at Morgan Stanley, Marine Combat Pilot in Desert Storm, and uh, I have the uh, scars to prove that too. 10 years running the first international dedicated hedge fund in the 90s, five years fracking for natural gas in Texas, so I'm your go-to guy on energy as well, and now nine years publishing uh, the Diary of a Mad Hedge Fund Trader, my retirement game, which turned into a massive global business. I am one of a handful of surviving founders of the modern hedge fund industry. All the others are dying off one by one. But this is the other reason you want to listen to me. This is our trailing 12-month performance, 40.43%. We send daily audited reports of our trade alerts to customers every day, post them on our website. This is what they made, and many people made a multiple of that. Uh, was I just lucky last year? Was it a flash in the pan? No, that is our six-year return right there. And this is a classic hedge fund type return. Sideways up, sideways up, sideways up. Always make money in all conditions, whether the market's going up or down. We are in the absolute return business. If you are not up 40.43% in the past 12 months as I am, you are reading the wrong newsletter or following the wrong trade mentoring service. We do have a new world order. Yes, that is exactly what it is. Control of the presidency, the House of Representatives, the Senate, and the Supreme Court mean the Republicans have a free hand on business and economic policies. Republicans block fiscal spending for eight years. It is now full speed ahead. One trillion in new infrastructure in the Midwest amounts to essentially another quantitative easing 5.0. And you know what the last four QEs did for asset prices, drove them through the roof. 
Massive Keynesian stimulus could double U.S. economic growth in the short term. However, inflation will make an early return. It all adds up to a big risk on and a buy. Not so fast. There are a few catches. Don't let greed get ahead of yourself. No matter what the president says, the markets will stay flat or even fall until they see concrete action by Congress on tax cuts and deregulation. Tax cuts could take six, six months or longer, deregulation years. A clean break with Obamacare with no replacement could cost one million health care jobs, which is already evident in this really poorly performing sector. A conservative Congress is historically opposed to big tax cuts without spending cuts, which is diametrically opposed to what the president is proposing. In the end, it may be Paul Ryan who de determines the future of all asset prices. Conclusion, trade or die. Here are the big new trends. I'll start with the winners first. Value stocks, the economy, deregulation, taxpayers like you and me, domestic U.S. stocks, defense stocks, inflation, oil and gas, commodity stocks, bridges and freeways, the Midwest, Rust Belt, the U.S. dollar, savers, homeowners like most of us, and cheap stocks. There are a lot of losers in the new world uh, order. Gross stocks, globalization, regulation, multinational stocks, uh, emerging markets, the budget deficit, solar energy, bonds, yield plays, the euro, the Japanese yen, borrowers, renters, and expensive stocks. Uh, these are the new long stock plays, which will be with us for a couple of years at least. Get these right and you'll retire early. Uh, that's Caterpillar on the infrastructure play. Same with U.S. Steel and Nucor. ExxonMobil, Big Oil, and now is a good entry point, by the way. Chesapeake Energy, TransOcean on offshore drilling. Occidental Petroleum for energy. Bank of America for financials. Goldman Sachs for financials. Lenar Home on home building. Freeport McMoran on commodities. And you can see, you know, how the these this group of stocks have been delivering, you know, stunning share price performance. We are taking a break now before we see more concrete action. Uh, I call this a time correction, not a price correction. Eventually we'll break out to the upside, but it could be months before we do that. Same sort of chart with Caterpillar. Don't want to chase it up here looking to buy a lower dip or buy a deep in the money call spread, which is a bet that it doesn't go below 90. Goldman Sachs, this is your uh, my number one pick for 2017. Expect it to double from here. Already made 25% on one stock play last week in a short dated uh, options call spread. Uh, buy this on every single dip. Uh, this is going to be your big rich uncle for the coming year. Lockheed Martin, uh, we need a complete rebuild of our defense infrastructure, new equipment that's worn out after 20 years of fighting in the Middle East, and we also need uh, a new generational upgrade on all kinds of weapon systems. Uh, copper, uh, upside breakout on big volume. Again, you want to be buying the dips on uh, infrastructure play, um, and the way to do this is with Freeport McMoran, the world's largest copper producer. Uh, this is one of the uh, indicators I follow. I follow about 100 indicators on a daily basis. CNN uh, Fear and Greed Index packages together about 20 of those indicators. Uh, the best day of the year to add risk was just before the election. CNN uh, Fear and Greed Index was at 14, which shows extreme fear, which historically is a fantastic time to add risk and buy stocks. And we did exactly that. We bought the XIV, which is an ETF that profits from falling volatility. We bought it at 32.9, a bet that market volatility would fall just before the election. This is the show I just haven't been lucky with my trade alerts. We keep knocking these doubles out all the time. Uh, right now, the CNN Fear and Greed Index is at 69. It rose from 14 to 69. The VIX Index, VIX, is... Uh, at 10, which is a decade low, and I bet we go to single digits before our slow grind is over. And what did the XIV do? 76.5% profit in two months. We've gone from 32 and change all the way up to 61. This is going to keep climbing as volatility just keeps getting slammed. 
Uh, NVIDIA, here's another one of our doubles, put out a major artificial intelligence report, which, by the way, you can get for free if you sign up for our service. Uh, trade alert to buy issued on November 2nd, 2016. Stock was at 68. By the way, I'm headquartered just on the edge of Silicon Valley. I have lunch with these guys every day. I get a lot of early tips on emerging new technologies, and it really has helped my investment performance big time. Uh, NVIDIA, NVIDIA exploded. Uh, we made it from 68 up to 120, a near double, seven week 81% profit. And I think this is a stock that'll double again over the course of the next several years. They are the front runner in the entire artificial intelligence space. Old stock plays. Let me see if I can get through any questions here. Okay, got those. Uh, for solar, not a big future under the current administration of solar with uh, the oil industry dominating administration appointments. Same with Sun Power, they're getting hammered. Uh, the prospect of losing their subsidies. Mexico ETF has been a disaster, to use a popularly used word, and I don't expect any recovery anytime soon. China ETF also don't want to touch with a 10-foot pole. Euro is getting slaughtered. Japanese yen is about to roll over and die and go to new multi-year lows. This is a fantastic entry point right here. Gold, uh, long term, uh, is a big winner. People have been buying lately as a, uh, a Trump hedge in case he's not able to get anything done. We actually uh, are uh, long, uh, were long gold up until this week. We're still long gold, long silver, uh, looking to trade out of it. Pfizer, high-priced drugs, Medtronic, medical devices, Simon Property Group, or any interest rate play out there is a big loser. Simon Property Group, yeah, uh, they don't like rising interest rates. You can pretty much bet on interest rates rising for the next five or ten years. Sun Power, again, already in big trouble before the election, in bigger trouble now. Um, this thing could go under even though I have 19 of those panels on my roof to power my Tesla. Mexico EWW, end of globalization, is a disaster for Mexico. Could throw the country into a Great Depression, lead to instability in Mexico, which will, guess what, drive millions of immigrants to flee north looking for new jobs. That's always what happens when you have political instability in Mexico. They end up in former Mexico, otherwise known as California, Arizona, Texas, and New Mexico. China ETF, again, don't want to touch with a trade war uh, in the works. Pfizer, uh, drug companies are getting away with murder. Uh, my only loss this year was in another biotech, uh, Biogen. We got stopped out after one day after a certain tweet took place. Medtronic, you lose Obamacare, uh, medical device companies lose a big chunk of their government subsidized business, and that is a disaster for the stock. Technology is kind of a third sector on its own. Uh, technology always comes back. Earnings growth is tremendous, continuing at about 20% a year on a net basis. The world's profitable companies are huge beneficiaries of corporate tax cuts. Technology companies will benefit the most from any crash repatriation plans with Apple at $250 billion in cash. Hyper-accelerating new technologies mean that profits will keep growing no matter who is in office. Tech makes a great hedge in case the domestic plays roll out slower than expected. Big institutions and hedge funds are loading up the boat on every dip, and all the leaders, the FANG stocks, are at all-time highs right now. You have Facebook, which is dominating social media. Buy here, it's going to double in three years. Apple, uh, again, uh, taking a run at its old uh, uh, split adjusted price of 1,000. It's, we're now at about 133. These charts are a couple days old. Uh, yeah, when you're a main competitor, Samsung commits suicide with exploding batteries. That's kind of good for business. Uh, and, you know, again, the repatriation money, if it is brought back, will predominantly be used to buy back stock and raise dividends, all very pro-stock market type developments. Netflix is taking over the world. You can't go anywhere without it now, and it is essentially wiping out the movie theater industry. Also big in the Academy Awards now and the Golden Globes. 
Alphabet is all about the cloud. It's growing exponentially, uh, partly thanks to NVIDIA. Look for that to continue. Nice little entry point here. I'd be buying right here. Look for a move to 1,000 sometime in 2017. Tesla is ramping up production from 100,000 cars a year to 500,000. I have bought three of those so far for reasons I'll explain in a sec. Uh, their Gigafactory Nevada is coming on, online, which will allow them to increase their car production fivefold. Uh, here's my newest uh, Tesla. This is the uh, Model X with the ludicrous mode, $149,000 with the gold wing doors. Get a lot of looks. Uh, 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds. Love it. And uh, no maintenance, just rotate the tires every 6,000 miles. And it's run entirely off my solar panels. Uh, this is the last Tesla I had. Oops, the old Model S. Yeah, may it rest in peace. Tail ended uh, while parked on the side of the road by a drunk driver with a uh, GM Silverado. Uh, this is all that was left. You can kind of see what the car is made of. Here's the battery under the back seat here. Uh, these are the uh, aluminum chassis. The rest of this is all carbon fiber or aluminum panels. Kind of gives you an idea what the, uh, the car is made of. It's, it's really more computer than car. Bond market, the fat lady is singing, sell every uh, rally, uh, five point rally in the TLT for the next 10 years. Bonds are toast. The first fiscal stimulus in eight years will pour one trillion into infrastructural spending. Taxes will be cut across the board, concentrated for the wealthy and business. Replenishing of the military adds further enormous spending demands. All of this adds 10 trillion to the national debt in eight years. Throw in a new war and that doubles to 20 trillion. Uh, this is a replay of the 400% rise in national debt under Reagan during 82 to 90 uh, when treasury bills hit 10%. So buy the TBT. Uh, and that has been one of my consistently profitable trades since last uh, July when interest rates bottomed and prices peaked. Uh, get your questions in here again. Uh, the moving average time periods, Walter, I always use 50-day and 100-day. Those are good reference points for uh, determining strike prices for your options plays. Uh, here's the TLT, and we've kind of been going nowhere for two months after this massive uh, gap down after the election. We were short every one of these peaks. This is, you know, adding a 10 or 20 percent a month winner into our trading portfolio, and we're still at it. Right now, we're actually long calls down here, and we're long puts up here, uh, betting that the market stays uh, in this range for several more months. Janet Yellen uh, was my professor at UC Berkeley, and she's basically told me no interest rate rises until June. Uh, here's the way to play this, the TBT, if you don't like options. Uh, this is an ETF that does well in rising interest rates buy every five point dip for the next 10 years. Weekly jobless claims at a 43 year low. I think we hit 233,000 last week. Um, that means we have a full employment economy. So if you launch a major jobs program with an unemployment rate at 4.8%, inflation is a sure thing. That is another big bond destroyer. Foreign currencies, the dollar rally is continuing. Uh, rising interest rates have the U.S. dollar rocketing against all of the currencies. Interest rate differentials are the biggest driver of foreign exchange rates. By the UUP, ETF calls and call spreads on any dip. Yen fundamentals are as bad as ever. They will be the last people in the world to raise interest rates. Uh, if they ever do it, expect a long-term decline, looking for the yen to go to 130, then 150, then 200 to the U.S. dollar. Sell short the FXY or buy the YCS inverse ETF on every dip. Future of the euro depends on whether the EC is breaking up or not. Right now it's lending, leading towards a breakup and the uh, euro should break through parity at any minute. And get your questions in so I have plenty to talk about with the, uh, in the latter part of the presentation. Uh, here's the UUP. Uh, possible head and shoulders uh, 
developing there for the short term, long term, we're still in a major uptrend. Uh, this is the Japanese yen. Uh, we've been short the entire second half of the year. Uh, got out at the end of the year, and we're kind of wait, waiting for this short covering rally here to uh, burn out before we go back in on the short side. But you know, an easy one here would be a 93.90 uh, bear put spread on the front month. That should be a good money maker. You should make 10 or 15 percent in three weeks on that one. Uh, here's the euro. You can see we tried once to break 100, failed, uh, got back up to this resistance level. I expect it to roll over and go back down again and eventually make it through 100. Uh, energy is kind of a double-edged sword right now, so I'm staying out of it for the short term. Stronger economy is oil positive, but a trade war with China, the world's largest marginal new consumer, could cause demand to slow. Any run up to $60 will see newest fracking demand uh, supply pour onto the market. Even without subsidies, alternative energy will steadily eat into oil demand. So sell rallies up to $60, buy dips to $45, and that may be our range for the entire uh, year. Here, here's the USO. You can see uh, the OPEC quotas got this short covering rally going. Uh, and it is working better than expected. Uh, the quota cuts have been sharper than expected. However, that fracking supply just keeps coming right in, and that is preventing a true breakout to the upside. Precious metals disruption is pro-gold. Anti-Trump trade gives gold a new lease on life. Chinese New Year puts buyers on hold. Many technical chart servers say the bull market has resumed. Speculative positions in gold starting to rebuild from low levels and are now approaching all-time highs, especially among hedge funds. Venezuela is selling off the last of its reserves to fo forestall an economic crash. Once that selling is done, and that could be in a few months, expect gold to take off. Uh, that's me in the Istanbul gold market doing some early Christmas shopping. I do tend to get around a lot. Uh, here's the GLD. Uh, we bought a 108, 111 call spread. Uh, just came out of that, took profits last week. That made a lot of money. Let's see. And uh, market, uh, the gold miners, again, much higher risk, but higher returns if you can get the market timing right. Uh, don't want to touch this now. Too much risk. We've just rallied too much, and you will get resistance at the 200-day moving average. Real estate, we are in a 20-year boom. We're probably only about five years into it. Millennial demographic wave is about to drive U.S. home prices northward for the next 20 years. Uh, only 22.4 million homes are for sale now, down 6.8% year on year, creating a severe shortage and uh, predicts a very hot housing market in the spring. U.S. home building is proceeding at less than half the peak seen in the 2000s, despite rapidly rising demand, creating a structural shortage. Home equity has been the top performing individually owned asset class for the last five years. I bet it has been for you to just do the numbers. All this makes the home builders a big long-term buy. Here is the S&P K. Schiller. Uh, shows nationally we are rising at about a 5.5% annual rate year on year. But look at these leading cities. Uh, Seattle up 10.4, Portland 10.1, Denver up 8.7, and this is being caused by two factors. Uh, massive Chinese buying uh, using flight capital coming out of China. Uh, in Seattle, you have an overflow from Vancouver where the Chinese have already driven prices to astronomical prices, as you Vancouver uh, followers already know. Uh, but you're also getting a spillover from San Francisco where people are selling their homes paying off their mortgages, taking the cash, and buying homes for cash only in Portland and Denver. Uh, that's going to continue for 10 to 15 more years at least, maybe 20. General growth properties, again, another yield play. Uh, you want to stay away from REITs, avoid them like the plague. They're going to go a lot lower. Uh, U.S. home construction, you want to own these guys, D.H. Horton, Lenore, Pulte Homes, Toll, all great names to trade around over the long term from the long side, buy every dip. Um, they are going to benefit hugely from a huge resurgence in new home.
purchases. Uh, trade sheet. So what do we do about this? And this is something I update every two weeks with my global strategy webinars for my paid followers. Stocks, you want to buy them. Bonds, sell. Commodities, buy them. Currency, sell. Precious metals, buy. And real estate, buy. Uh, we uh, track these daily, uh, fine-tune the edges, and go out with trade alerts the second we make changes to any of these uh, weightings. The long view, and this is the, probably the most important slide in this entire presentation, the 2000s and the 2010s were the hard decades for making money. The 2020s and the 2030s will be easy ones as a global demographic wave brings on a new golden age. So don't waste all your money chasing marginal trades right now. Uh, anything you touch will turn to gold in the 2020s and everybody will think you're an absolute genius. Just like we were all geniuses during the 1990s, during the dot-com boom. You know, people like to poo-poo the dot-com boom, but it did go on for 10 years. Only the people who forgot to sit down when the music stopped playing got hurt. 85 million millennials become big spenders over the next 15 year, years, while 80 million baby boomers who've been a drag on the economy will fade from the scene. Except that is for me, who stays in shape by climbing the Matterhorn every, uh, every summer. I work out of Zermatt, Switzerland in the summer to stay in shape, and it works. In the meantime, central banks will bridge the current economic slowdown with aggressive monetary policy, and now with the new administration, aggressive fiscal policy as well. Uh, so we'll get a replay of what we saw the last time this uh, whole thing unfolded. We had a 20-fold increase in 18 years from 1982 to 2000. During the 2000s, we went nowhere and then eventually dropped by half. Uh, we're now uh, probably five years into a 20-fold increase uh, like this, and we are roughly triple off the intraday lows of 2009. So many more years of bull market to go. Uh, don't let the Dow 3000 crowd scare you out of your long positions. So uh, how do you make money off of all of this? How do you uh, find the right stocks to ride, buy at the right time, and when to stay out completely? Sit with me, John Thomas, the mad hedge fund trader, and my global trading dispatch. Discover how you can tap into the top performing trade mentoring services in the industry, uh, up 36.95% a year in impossible markets. Follow my research and market beating trade alerts, and you will rake the profits in. Uh, this is the only audited performance you will ever find online. I basically run this like I ran my old hedge funds with uh, daily mark-to-markets and uh, portfolio updates. Land Marine Combat Pilots steer you to big profits. We trade single stocks, options, and ETFs for global equities, bonds, foreign exchange, energy, commodities, precious metals, and real estate. Uh, and no, that is not the plane I flew in Desert Storm. The plane I flew uh, had more engines, uh, had four of them. It was a C-130 uh, and was a lot faster. This is a 1932 de Havilland Tiger Moth, which I have a share in in Cambridge, England. I like doing my aerobatic flying uh, there every summer, doing uh, barrel rolls, spins, stalls. Oh, and the plane has no brakes, so we need a really long runway to land this thing. It just has a tail skid. Uh, but uh, certainly makes life worth living. Oh, that's the gas tank. It sits right on top of your head. So uh, you uh, uh, definitely don't want to crash this baby. Uh, this is the sort of trading we do. This is our January track record. And you can see um, we basically make money all the time. Uh, we are involved in equity, fixed income, foreign exchange, and precious metals. Uh, this is the profit we made on each one of these options positions, 16.3, 8, 14, and so on. Uh, I stop out of losers very quickly. In this particular case, this was the day of the Trump tweet. We had a long in Biogen, great long-term growth prospects, but short-term, uh, there was a 10% drop in one day. So we stopped out of our options position with a 20% loss. Uh, and we're happy to do that because we know there's a 90% chance the next trade we will put on is a winner, 
Uh, February pretty much is the same. No losers so far in February. We've been uh, long bonds, long golden sacks, long gold and silver, and short uh, bonds higher up. So uh, again, the strategy is working and will continue for the rest of the year. So if you want to trade record uh, like this, uh, just subscribe to our service. Um, or if you don't trade at all and just want to read the research, if you want to be updated every day on all asset classes around the world, uh, that is also of huge benefit to your long-term 401k uh, and IRA funds. Uh, who else wants to bank a six-figure profit? Uh, these are some testimonials. Uh, I'll read these and I'll take some questions. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da. The moving averages, Walter, were 50-day and 200-day. Uh, and here's a real estate question from Rob. Should I con uh, consider selling my flat with higher interest rates coming or, or keep it? I would keep it because the number one hedge against inflation is real estate. If you look at the past high inflation periods uh, when uh, inflation was double digits, uh, real estate outperformed. Um, so I would keep it as an inflation hedge. Uh, against everything else you have. And by the way, interest rates are going to go higher, but not right now. They could stay kind of in the low level for a year or two before interest rates get high enough to actually make a dent in the economy. So we are in a sweet spot here. If you do want to sell your apartment, I'd wait a couple of years. You may get much higher prices. Uh, here's another testimonial, and I'll go on to more questions. Uh, American Express, AXP, I like it, Philip. Uh, again, I call it the selling the shovels to the gold miner trade. They take uh, a small spread on absolutely everything that moves on the planet, uh, and that business uh, it has a major secular long-time uh, growth trend. You know, as more and more business moves online, more of it moves to credit cards uh, or PayPal. Uh, yeah. Uh, I was bearish on gold last year. I'm taking a trading long now, uh, and it's working. Uh, long term, gold also does better, um, but you need healthy emerging markets to get a major move back up to new all-time highs. Right now, emerging markets aren't the place to be, uh, and they are the world's largest new buyers of gold, especially China. Hello. Uh, let's see, I own seven rentals, plan to sell them short the SPY at 2400 Well, I've been hearing this story for nine years now. <laughs> I plan to sell all my uh, housing and, uh, uh, and uh, short stocks, and these people get wiped out every year. Those are both asset classes where long term, uh, they are basically always going up except for brief periods of 12 to 24 months when they go down. 90% of the time, both housing uh, and stocks are going up, especially housing. Uh, you know, the one anomaly, the one 70-year anomaly was 0809. And the problem with 0809 is the sell-off was so dramatic that uh, people live in fear of it returning at any minute. Uh, people behave much the same way after the Great Depression. So. I would hang on to your real estate. I would not short the SPY at 2400 unless it was just a one or two month trading view. And by the way, I may be shorting the SPY at 2400 just on a short term trading view. May would be a good time to do that, by the way. Uh, our May shorts have worked every year for the last seven years. Uh, okay, uh, let me move on here. With my Global Trading Dispatch service, you get a daily research newsletter giving you the deep background on all the trades and economic trends in play, true hedge fund manager analysis that others pay thousands of dollars for. Uh, instant trade alerts texted to you at market sweet spots. How sweet are they? Uh, many of my followers have become millionaires. I give live bi-weekly global strategy webinars like this one with the Mad Hedge Fund, fund Trading staff. Let our combined 100 years of trading experience pay off for you. Invitations to global strategy luncheons around the world. We do about 25 of these a year where you can rub shoulders with some of the savviest money managers on the planet. Uh, I'll also give you uh, unlimited access to my nine-year database. You just type in a ticker symbol, company name. You can find out what all our recommendations have been on that stock for the last nine years. I'll even give you the name of a good surfing camp in North Africa 
where I spent last summer, and uh, they had a special seniors class. Thank you very much. And that's my uh, faithful camel, George, who went with me everywhere I went while I was in North Africa. And yes, they are as nasty as they look. Don't ever get behind one. That's all I can tell you. Uh, let's see. Uh, Gilead Sciences, here's some more questions. Um, Gilead has got a price problem, $80,000 for their drug. That makes them target numero uno for the current position. The second one is they haven't been buying out other drugs. They're essentially a one-product company, haven't diversified like they would. Uh, General Motors, another question I wouldn't touch here. Uh, GM happens to be the most, one of the most globalized countries in the world. Bringing factories back from Mexico to the United States would be a huge loser for them. If they are forced to do so, it'll push up their labor costs from $3 an hour to $30 an hour. So uh, look at the stock chart. You'll see what I'm talking about. It is not participating in this rally. Avoid GM and Ford. Oh, and buy Tesla, by the way. But not here. Buy it on a, a big, uh, a better dip. Um, uh, fantastic presentation. Uh, thoughts on Vancouver real estate. Vancouver and Sydney, Australia are the only two real estate markets in the world I would sell right now because they've been driven to absolute insane levels by pure Chinese buying, only looking for a bull hole to flee to when they get out of the country. So, uh, you know, at the West Coast will hold up okay, but Vancouver is like double what San Francisco prices are. It's ridiculous. So, uh, again, don't touch Vancouver. Take profits. Say thank you very much, Mr. Market. Sell your place, take your profits, and put it in the stock market, and put it in technology stocks. Put it in Apple or Google or something like that where you can get a real return. Uh, okay, moving on here, uh, more uh, testimonials. Let me uh, get some more questions here. Um, there are specialized REITs, Lynn, which will do well. Uh, you can get REITs that specialize in server farms, for example. But all of these guys uh, depend on high leverage and high amount of borrowing, so uh, I would just rather avoid the whole uh, REIT area completely. Any kind of leverage is going to work against them uh, going forward. Uh, let's see, yeah, oh, or let's see, answer those. Da, da, da. Yeah, yeah. Amazon, like for the long term, 25% of the total increase in retail spending last year was on Amazon. They are taking over the entire market. Only risk here is antitrust, which Trump has said he will pursue against Amazon. So we shall see. Uh, uh, G GE, I do like. Um, uh, it's a different company than General Motors. They do have a big export business, but they're also a very dynamic technology company. They are also moving heavily into the cloud, so uh, I would stick with General Electric. Of course, it would have been nice to buy it at five bucks in the last crash, uh, which I did, but I came out of too soon. So uh, let's go on here. More questions. Um, uh, can we talk to you directly? Um, I spend part of my day every day calling readers and looking for new ways to improve my service and get good trade ideas. I have some first-class traders following me, and I get good ideas for them. Believe me, it's a two-way street. Um, let's see. Um, Jim in Dallas, Texas are the trailers for stocks, ETFs, or options. Uh, every time we send a trailer, we include all three so people can pick and choose what works best for them so they can tailor a, a trade to their specific risk profile. Uh, Joe in Detroit, Michigan, I've never done this before. Can a beginner start with no prior service? Absolutely, Jim. Bringing beginners into the market for the first time is one of the primary goals of this service. Uh, by the way, that's me in New Zealand with some real life black swans. And by the way, they bite. Don't get close to them. Notice I'm keeping a safe distance here. <coughs> Here's what I'm not going to charge you for my service. I'm not going to charge you $100,000 a year because I'm already getting that from several large hedge funds. And they're very happy to pay that amount of money because I make them millions of dollars. Of course, they're running $20 billion, so they have the leverage to really profit from the kind of trading advice that I give them and I can give to you too. 
Uh, this is the real deal. For my concierge service, I charge $10,000 a year. That's by application only. We only allow people uh, concierge service who've been with us for several years. I charge my options clients $5,000 for 12 months, but not for you. Creating this product cost me millions of dollars. Running it cost me millions more. Here's the offer you can't refuse. Three months for just $497. And uh, Renee, now is a good time for you to put the link to our sales page uh, in the chat box because that is the only way people will get this offer. So if you look on the chat box to the right, it says Renee to all, uh, and then uh, there's the link to our sales page. So uh, if you go to our website, buying the identical product will cost you $3,000 for a year. We want to get you in for $497 because we know that once in, you'll never leave. Most of our subscribers have been with us for eight or nine years. Uh, we're basically funding their retirement and giving them a hell of a good time in the meantime. Uh, this is a limited time offer. We take only 25 new subscribers at a time. Usually those blow out in the first minute of the presentation. So it's first come, first serve. Can't wait to make you a top drawer trader. Just uh, click on the chat box on the right. Uh, let me make the money for you to pay for your own subscription. The great majority of our new subscribers make the 497 in the first uh, three months and then are more than happy to pay $3,000 a year uh, at the end of that three months. Uh, let's see, <laughs> I got a comment here from a devil dog. Uh, looks like uh, we have more than one Marine in this presentation. Yes, they used to call us devil dogs. That's what the uh, Barbary pirates called us when we invaded North Africa and did a forced march of 800 miles across the Sahara so we could uh, attack a fortress from behind. That's what Marines are all about. Make the trades, discover how an experienced hedge fund manager finds and exploits the best sweet spots in any market. Who's going to tell you which stocks to buy during the Trump melt-up and the following meltdown? Yes, it, it does cut both ways. Just click on the chat box on the right. Uh, let's see, let me go through some more questions here. Just um, let me get my question box up. Okay, let me read through this. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, this reads is different from home building, Eileen. I get that, but all REITs dep depend on borrowed money, and that is the killer. This year they may do okay, but going ahead when interest rates go substanti substantially higher, um, all REITs will get hurt and many will go bankrupt. And I've seen this happen too many times before. Uh, let's see. Um, Renee, do you offer a recording of this to people? I have Z asking a question here. Uh, just jump in if you know the answer. Um, um, yeah, we record them and then they'll all be on youtube.com slash investor inspiration early next and week. And there's your, there's your answer. Um, Let's see. I'm busy the next six weeks. Can I start after the next six, six, after the next six weeks? No. No, you can't. The, a one-time only offer means one time, just today. You can go to our website in six weeks and pay $3,000 a year. We have new people coming in every day, happy to take the money. Uh, Z, the link is in the chat box on the right, the right-hand panel on your screen. If for any reason you're not able to buy the product, just email us at support at madhedgefundtrader.com uh, and they'll sort you out over the phone. That's support at madhedgefundtrader.com. Do you really fly all those planes? I, I, actually, yes, Bob. In fact, I'm one of the only pilots in the United States who is rated on a B-17 bomber, a Mitchell B-25 bomber, a P-51 Mustang, and a MiG-29 Soviet fighter. Uh, I have all those entries in my logbook. Every time I go for my biennial flight review, it's a slam dunk. They're just overawed. The FAA examiners are overawed reading my logbook. So, uh, yeah, um, I'll just take questions until we run out of time, Renee. So tell me when I'm out of time, and I'll quit talking. Um, TBT. Um, or Goldman Sachs? That is actually kind of a good question uh, for your IRA. I would go with Goldman Sachs because uh, Goldman Sachs will double in three years. TBT may take longer, may take like six or seven years. 
for interest rates really get screamingly out of control. Uh, so yeah, buy Goldman Sachs, make it your largest position. If it drops, add more to it. Uh, but don't forget to take off a little bit in every rally so you can buy back on the dip. Uh, also, one negative about TBT, by the way, uh, is a 7% cost of carry per year. It is a 2x ETF, so you have to pay double the short term, the 10-year uh, Treasury yield, which is right now 2.5% or 2.4%, uh, plus the management fees. That, right now, that works out to about 7% a year. It is expensive to hold. It's better to trade. Goldman Sachs, in the meantime, it pays you to own it. Uh, with a dividend. Uh, will the renewal be the same rate? No, Lou. Um, you come in at 497 and then after that you're begging to pay $3,000 because uh, you've made so much money. That is what happens. Uh, once we teach people to trade, give them the trade alerts, they get addicted. Uh, so this is a one-time only entry offer which you will not get again. Uh, okay, let's see. Da -da -da -da. Tiffany's <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't touch here. Uh, the luxury sector isn't doing that well. It's a retailer which is living death. And their flagship store is practically going out of business because it's across the street from Trump Tower and nobody can get past the security in Manhattan to get into the store. <laughs> that is kind of a problem. So Tiffany's, better to buy a, a Valentine's present there than to own the stock. That would be a recommendation. Okay, keep the questions coming in. I cover all asset classes, long and short. JP Morgan Z, also love that stock. I will own that. Uh, buy on every dip. Morgan Stanley, also. Um, Charles Schwab has a huge domestic business, which will generate more than any other financial from a tax cut. Right now, Charles Schwab is paying a 39% tax credit. Tax rate, they have almost no international business. So yeah, financials, financials, financials. Okay, more questions. Um, da, 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 da. Joel in New York City, how often is the newsletter sent out? Uh, every day the market is open. That's 250 uh, newsletters a year. That is 1,000 investment recommendations a year across all asset classes. And I can tell you there's another 2,000 sitting on the floor of my office at the end of the year. I only give you the best of the best. We, have, we generate more ideas here than we can use. Uh, Elizabeth in Montana, do you think the Fed will bring back QE? And do you ever get to Montana? Well, my family owns a 50,000-acre ranch in uh, Montana. It's all around the area of the Powder River and the Little Bighorn. Uh, we bought it right after Custer's last stand in 1876. Got a great deal. I think it was like 50 cents an acre. We still own it. Uh, as, for, as for QE, uh, not at the current 3% GDP rate. However, I do expect QE when we hit the next recession, which will be in about three years. Uh, da, 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 is the strong dollar over? No, with interest rates rising. The dollar is a sure thing probably for three to five more years. So uh, buy the dollar on every dip, sell the yen and the euro on every rally, uh, and short the bond market. It's all part of the same big trade. Uh, Jim in Houston, Texas, is oil bottomed? Uh, yes, but it'll take a while to get convincingly over 55. That's where big U.S. fracking supply kicks in. By the way, we added 12 on the rig count yesterday. That's negative for oil prices. Uh, so you should be buying long-dated calls on the USO on any substantial dip below $50. When I say long-dated, maybe go out a year or something like that. I expect oil to be over 60 in a year. And do a call spread so you don't get killed on the time decay. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, Gary in Garden City, New York, what's your best stock pick in the market today? Uh, I would say Goldman Sachs. Stock market volume is exploding. Mergers and acquisition are at all-time highs. Dodd-Frank is headed for the ash can of history. And interest rates are rising. All good things for Goldman Sachs. Look for the double. We already made a ton of money just in the last week on this, 25% in one week. And I'm looking to go back to the trough for more. Okay, let me read some more for questions. Best financial stock for the long term. I just answered Goldman Sachs. Uh, okay, let me look for, scroll through more questions here. Um, 
Uh, Cheryl in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. How do we find out your current trading positions? Once you become a member, we post them on the members only website every day and update all position changes to our model trading portfolio. Last week, I sold U.S. Treasury bonds on the rally, bought gold, uh, took profits in Goldman Sachs, which I bought the week before, and took profits on gold. I'm keeping my current long position in silver. Uh, let's see, Philip in Boston, Massachusetts, can I talk to a current user of your service to get their opinion? Go to madhedgefundtrader.com, you'll find a testimonials menu tab. We have hundreds of testimonials that have come through over the past decade. And we don't make these up like other websites do. These are all written by true subscribers. Uh, da -da -da. What's the what option for Goldman Sachs? Eileen, I can't give an answer now. It depends where we are on the market. Uh, but I would be going uh, out three months with a call spread. So if we flatline, you still make the money. Uh, that's my strategy. In a time of flat to falling volatility, call spreads. That way, uh, whatever you lose on your long side on the option, you make it back on the short side with time decay. That is what every big hedge fund is doing right now. Okay, keep the questions coming in. Uh, we have about 10 more minutes, I guess. Uh, about Bitcoin, um, I would avoid Bitcoin because if your Bitcoins get stolen, there's nobody to call <laughs> to try and get them back. I know several people who had big chunks of Bitcoin stolen from them. Uh, the security uh, is not good at Bitcoin. Uh, you can get hacked at any time and lose all your money. About 99% of all Bitcoin transactions right now are happening in China to bypass the foreign exchange uh, restrictions there, and the Chinese are now clamping down. So uh, there are too many other safer investments to do than Bitcoin. It predominantly is traded by people in China in emerging markets uh, and China as a, because their own uh, home currencies are so awful. Uh, okay, yeah. Monster move, uh, but up and down. <laughs> that is the problem with Bitcoin. Remember, this started out at like one to one on the dollar about 10 years ago and went up to 1300 and then back down to about three. So if you like that volatility, uh, uh, da, 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 just going through more questions. Uh, multifamily properties. Yes, Joseph, I do like that. It is a good real estate play. Uh, we are, before demographic reasons, there's going to be an enormous surge in demand for entry-level properties. Apartments meet that description perfectly, and you should be able to get a good positive cash flow on the position while the underlying property is going up. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, anyone who missed the webinar or just came in, uh, go to YouTube uh, and watch the replay. Uh, what's the minimum account size? Um, most people start with $10,000. I've seen people do it with $5,000. And a $5,000 portfolio allows you to get 10 positions in 10 different stocks or other asset classes uh, at $500 a piece. So we often trade longs and shorts against each other. So we may be long bonds, short stocks, uh, short currency, and so on. Uh, so the risk balances out over the long term. Uh, okay, uh, someone just tried to buy the service, was declined. Please uh, email us at support at madhedgefundtrader.com. Uh, the most common reason for decline is that your address that you inputted did not match the one on your credit card. And often people have forgotten the address on their credit card. So please email us, we'll contact you and process the card directly. Uh, okay, let's go through some more questions here. Just click on the link on the right if you want to get the 497 offer only for today. Uh, Ivan in Portland, Maine, how would you describe your trading philosophy? Answer, we use fundamentals for the long-term call and technicals for the short-term execution. This is what every long-term professional does. If you deviate from that, you will lose money because you are giving up an important source of information, be it fundamentals or technicals. By the way, younger advisors, you find them overly dependent on technicals because they're easier to understand. Fundamentals are a lot of hard work 
which take decades, a half a century in my case, to master. By the way, after doing this for 50 years, it gets easy. <laughs> That's the good news. So you only have 40 or 45 years to go uh, before this gets to be an easy job, so easy that it becomes fun. Uh, let's see. Uh, Roger in Richmond, Virginia, do you offer training with a subscription? Every single trade alert we send out has a link to a video showing you exactly how to execute that trade on your online trading platform. You know, there's no point in putting out trade alerts if you don't know how to execute them. So we have tons of training resources on our site. We have books, we have videos, we have options training courses, uh, and so on. We are in the education business. That is what we do. We're very good at it. Uh, so the education comes part and parcel with the trade alert subscription. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, let me see more questions here. Um, <laughs> thanks, getting out of long uh, British pound position. Well, you're kind of late on that one. Uh, let's see, Visa, also same uh, category as uh, American Express, benefiting from a major expansion of online commerce. Uh, okay, somebody bought it because they got the right address typed in. Uh, oh, just sign up for your service, Joseph. Well, thank you very much. Joseph, where are you from? And we have a webinar, a live update webinar next Wednesday, 12 o'clock Eastern. Uh, sign in. I look forward to working with you for the next three months and hopefully for the next 10 years. Copper and steel, like them both long term. Both have had enormous moves. Uh, I would buy one third of a position here. And then if the stock goes up or down, buy another one-third and another one-third. That's the only way to get into things that are moving fast as you scale in in small pieces and average in over the long term. Longer term, I think copper goes to $4 a pound. Uh, steel can double from here as part of the American industrial renaissance. Average holding time for positions is anywhere from a week to three months. Uh, obviously, we if we take a position, we make 25% in a week, we'll take that because the market has a very bad habit of taking your profits away if you sit on them and let them grow hair. Uh, on the other hand, we will run a long-term position if we have conviction like short bonds, like short euro and short yen. Uh, da, 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 da. When does China devalue the yuan? Answer, they're not. Uh, they're moving to a market-oriented um, currency system any devaluations that happen will be tiny ones like the 3% we saw a year and a half ago. Uh, so in longer term, the yuan should go up. Uh, they do have a massive trade surplus. It's only the short-term capital flight that's dragging the yuan down, and the government is doing everything they can to support their currency, not devalue it, which is what the president thinks they're doing right now. Uh, he should stick to real estate. Uh, coverage for $497 is three months. Uh, it is the bargain of the century. Uh, you almost certainly earn the cover, the cost of that within on your first trade. That's what happens 80% of the time. I see we have a new subscriber from Bloomington, Minnesota. Thank you very much. Look forward to working with you and my sympathies for living in the coldest part of the United States. Uh, da, 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 let's see. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, so there was a guy here in Missoula, Montana, had a MIG and flew it all the time. Was that you? No. Uh, the older MIGs are so dangerous, it's unbelievable. I only flew the um, latest generation frontline fighters, the MIG 25 and the MIG 29, and that was a special operation that I did for NASA uh, about 20 years ago, right after the Cold War ended. So. Uh, I, you won't get me in a MiG-21. I know people love them, but you know, aerodynamically they're incredibly dangerous and the ejection seats haven't had any maintenance in 20 years. Yes, I know other people who own MiGs. Better to look at it than to fly it, even as a passenger. Okay, uh, can I send money to you? Yes. Go uh, send an email to us at support at madhedgefundtrader.com. Uh, speak to customer support and you can send us a check, a wire transfer, uh, or any other payment method that works. Uh, okay, any other questions here? Let me go through here. 
but uh, yeah, fundamentals is hard work, but yeah, that's where the money is made, uh, Michael. Uh, unfortunately, there is no free lunch. Uh, Lancaster, no, I've never flown to Lancaster. I had a friend who flew to Lancaster, but um, there are very few of those left. I think the Royal Air Force only has one flying model left. Um, uh, if you want the link to subscribe, go to the chat box on the right. You'll see it there in the blue underline writing. It starts with HTTPS colon slash slash members. That is the link to our sales page. If for whatever reason you can't get through, just email us at support at madhedgefundtrader.com and uh, they'll sort you out on Monday. Not today, because customer support is closed. Yes, we do give days off. Uh, da, 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 da. Do you expect market to move big after tax and infrastructure? Yes. Um, I expect the market on average to rise 10% a year for the next three years and then fall 25% in the next recession. So there you have it, 10% a year, uh, and then don't forget to go short because we end up making a lot more money on the short side uh, than on the long side because of the enormous volatility increases you get in the options market. Uh, have you ever flown a Spitfire, John? No. Uh, uh, there are only about 14 flying Spitfires in the world, and the people who own them guard them jealously, uh, and um, uh, they cost about two and a half million dollars each these days. Very expensive to run, also. So uh, I'd rather just admire it from afar. But I'll tell you, I know that sound anywhere because I've heard a lot of Spitfires over the years at air, air shows. Uh, Dave is asking, how many trades do you average a week? Uh, in a busy week, we'll do anywhere up to 10. On a slow week, we'll do none or one. We only trade at meet market sweet spots, and guess what? Sweet spots just don't happen every day. They tend to happen in bunches. So uh, we try to limit our trade alerts to three on a busy day because people get overwhelmed. My office gets overwhelmed getting them out. Uh, so we try to make this as doable as possible. Um, you know, we can go a couple of weeks without a trade alert when the markets are absolutely dead and there's nothing to do. So, uh, you know, the biggest discipline you need in a business is to not trade. Because everybody wants to do a trade, everyone wants to make money, just not every day is the best day of the year to do it. 